Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, town manager. Welcome to What's Going On in Town Government. We had a lengthy meeting last night. Did you hear about it? Sure did. I listened to some of it. Okay. Well, let's let's go through it piece right. by piece. Well, little, every I, little moment. <laughs> <laughs> every little moment. We will be here for the next three hours. Okay. We had some announcements at the beginning, and and some and and so here's what they were. We had police awards, departmental awards for various incidents that had occurred over the last year or so, and we had a special retirement recognition for Bleck the Canine. Oh, he's retired. Did he come in? He's retired. He came in. Oh, he did. He licked everybody. He's very oh. cute. It was very nice, and so that was good. And we had an update from the harbor master about the town pier project. What it's happens going to well. Him? Black. He will go live with his um, officer handler. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. How and old is he? I think he's nine or ten. Oh, okay. He's old in dog years. Yes, okay. Um, but he's still very distinguished looking. And his he, replacement... Is he a German Shepherd? No, he's a... Um, he's not a yellow lab, but Black he's lab. something like that. No, he's yellow. Oh, oh he's yellow. But he's okay. that's not what it's called. He's from... He's. It's a different... Breed. I ought to know it. I can't remember the name of it. Um, he's lab-like. He, if you, if you were somebody like me, you would say, "Oh yeah, that's a yellow lab." Right. But it's something more. Not Chesapeake. No, that's. No, 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 no. But it's something. It's something higher than that. Huh. His replacement, Moby, did not make an appearance, but Moby is adorable, and he is in the process of being trained. Now, what are these canines used for? Um, searching drugs. Yeah like things and stuff like that. Okay, so mostly drugs. Mostly. Yeah. Town Pier had an update from the Harbor Master about that. That project is going well. Apparently though, some of the work uncovered some additional work that needs to be done. So it's, it's, it's on schedule, maybe even a tiny bit ahead, but I'm pretending it's not ahead because hopefully we'll just be done when we were hoping to be done. And when is that? Um, before summer. Okay. I don't, we don't have a date. All right, but, so July. Well, hopefully before July. Okay. I mean, worst case scenario, potentially July, but hopefully before that. They're, the company doing the work is down there working as fast as they can. Um, office moves. We have some office moves that have occurred. Ann McAndrew, our licensing agent, has moved from the town building out to the four fairgrounds building, public safety building. She is doing, going to do her duties out there going forward. One-stop shopping is the idea behind that. Our human service, human resources department has moved from the East Chestnut building next door to this building over to her office. The health department is moving from the four, uh, two fairgrounds building down to the East Chestnut building. So oh. there's some different moves. Where's the NRTA going? They're staying where they are, so it's going to be tight over there. Okay. No, no question about it until we can figure out a long-term plan. Okay, it was public hearing Wednesday, so we had a lot of public hearings. We had a couple telephone petitions. We had mobile food units, common victualler licenses. We had two entertainment that. licenses, both of which were tabled to next week for further information to be brought What kind forward. of entertainment are we talking about? Entertainment at... Um, Station 21, which is the former Corazon Del Mar, across the street oh. there, and a place called Nabe, Nabe, oh, Nabe. Nabe yeah. N A B E AC, at 31 Easy Street, which is the former Schooner's restaurant. So those were both tabled. We had two HTC appeals. As I mentioned, may have mentioned before, no offense to anybody, but HTC appeals are among the things that are the bane of the existence of town administration. One was tabled to June 3rd. The other was heard. The board will ratify its decision next week. They're going to have town council write it up. What was it about? It was about 29 Liberty Street and an approval the HDC made to allow a garage type structure to be removed. A uh, lot of discussion about this, a lot of neighborhood concern. And also the they owner. They don't want the neighbors, don't, don't want it? to be moved, moved or I don't remember exactly if it's moved or going to be redone but whatever it was that I thought that it. that was the same area where they were going to like allow it to be some sort of a business continue yes it is that is oh. it is that area it's oh. next to that I believe it's a different this is I a think different. it's a different building I oh. think oh okay HCC appeals are not you don't have to really within be my scope right, of exactly. you got knowledge to exactly so anyway, the hearing was closed. The board will do its decision next week. 
but but there was only three members sitting. One had a conflict and the other was off island. So of the three sitting, it sounded to me anyway, like two of them were leaning towards upholding the appeal and one was not. But there, there's a lot of information for them to review, so it'll all come up again next week. We also had a very interesting report from our town moderator about e-voting, electronic voting at town meeting. She's, we've been, the Board of Selectmen talked about this last winter, and she's done a little research, talked to other moderators who use electronic voting and who don't but know about it, and she's attended a town meeting in East Ham where they had electronic voting so she could see for herself how it works. It can be efficient. It is a different dynamic at town meeting. It is not the same dynamic that we have now, obviously. So there's pros and cons to it. The board was interested enough to keep having a discussion about it, but didn't commit to anything in particular yet. It's also costly. We, it's estimated that for one town meeting, it could cost about $40,000. Oh. So. That's if we got that lying around. Well, <laughs> do we want to spend that money on something else or this it could so anyway there's going to be more discussion about that we also talked about a pilot parking plan for the summer that the board endorsed and here's what it is i don't remember if i mentioned this last week or not but on lower main street from straight wharf to easy street and also on candle street from salem to easy ish or lower main there we are going to have no unattended parking from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., meaning licensed driver must be in a vehicle or right next to it so they can get in it and drive away quickly. The idea is to try to alleviate congestion in that area. When the boats come in, there's, there's a lot of congestion down there. So the idea is to have more of a, a, a quicker turnover. If you're picking somebody up at the boat, you can wait there for them right. to come and get in your car and you drive away. Taxis and tour vans may park there, again, with the idea that they are attended, not but, unattended. But doesn't that make it difficult for those guys? I, I mean, don't see why not. I don't see why. We don't, we don't see why. They, they, they remain. They had the entire thing pretty much for before. Most of it. That's yeah. right. And they'll still have access to it. But they also still have access. They also will still have the taxi stand in front of the club car. Right. So we're going we're gonna right. to we'll see how it goes. works. Um, so that's going to start... I think that starts June 1st. We've got to get the signage all taken care of. I've got to work on that today. At our meeting next week, we have a county meeting and we have a real estate, a lot of real estate stuff. Usually the last Wednesday of the month we do real estate things. We also have a public hearing, our first round of a, uh, our first public hearing for our first round of committee applications. The board sort of interviews applicants for committees, boards, and commissions. And, and then at the end of the June, end of June, they make appointments. We also have, I don't want to give this away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do a teaser. We have a little something, maybe, that might happen at next week's meeting that might have something to do with a certain person who's retiring from the town after 37 years of service. I'll leave it at that. Hmm. And people can figure who out who that be? might be. Who could it be? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. He was at the meeting last night, and at the end of the meeting, he thought it was his last selectman's meeting, and so he said some nice words about his time here. But then I had to remind him, you're, you're coming back next week, because he does have an item on the agenda next week. Oh. So, and anyway, tune in. Okay. This is big weekend, Memorial yes, Day. It's this kickoff. You got it. So. Be f have fun, everybody, but be safe and don't do, and, and be smart. Don't, don't, you know, sometimes people aren't smart what about their behavior. Well, about their behavior. Meaning? Meaning sometimes they drink too much and get carried away and cause trouble. And also, um, your trash, throw it in the trash can, please. There's people who live here year-round. They don't want to see that. And they shouldn't have to. So if you're a visitor, please, you know, mind your manners. Good point. Same goes for the locals. But we all want to have a great time this weekend, and we can. So just be smart and safe. Sounds good to me, Libby. What else? Um, I'm going to be in Maine for the week. Okay. Next week. So I'll figure out with 
Jim, yeah. possibly, yeah. about the show next sure. week? Sure. Okay. If I'm not too tired after BOS, because sometimes I can't I even think by then. We'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. See you next time.